cajon is traditionally played with hands, but I want to experiment with sticks, find out what worked and what didn't, coming up. Hi, my name is Kevin Zahner, and if this is your first time on Rhythm Notes, please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today. And if you haven't heard about Rhythm Insider, our monthly newsletter, go to rhythminsider.com forward slash subscribe to receive lesson PDFs for YouTube videos and links related to articles among other benefits. Subscribe today and you'll get a free gift. I usually get asked to play cajon on a couple of gigs per year, and the people who ask me to bring cajon are usually happy with almost any hand drums or different combinations, or even what I do with a drum set cajon. By the way, if you wanna watch a video about how I set up a kick drum with a cajon, check it out, I'll put it in the cards above and in the description below. But the problem I always face with cajon is how dry it can be on its own. So I usually like to mix it up with like shakers and maybe add in hi-hat, but that just still becomes too much sometimes. And I just wanted to find something simple. And I noticed that some people were playing with brushes, so I wasn't too, into the brushes, I wanted some deep tones and I found, well, just searching cajon sticks that there's actually cajon sticks. Let us know in the comments below if you've played with cajon sticks or you use any other types of implements that you think sound really good on cajon. These minor sticks are not really sticks at all. They're actually plastic light gauge crimped dowels that when you group them together in various degrees of tightness or looseness that fanned out or less fanned out, you get a range of tones out of the cajon, whether you're playing bass tones or high tones. And you also get the swishy sound that the sticks themselves make. So let's check out the range of sounds you can produce on the cajon by either tightening or loosening the dowel groupings on the cajon sticks. If you're getting value out of this video, please hit that like button and please share it with someone who you think will also get value out of it. So if you notice, I play a lot of inner touches with these sticks and they're just, they're just light touches, kind of like if you're playing with your hands, you might have touch strokes in between the bass tones and the high tones um, on cajon. So it's not gonna change too much in terms of how you're playing the drum. You're just playing with these cajon sticks instead of your hands. Much of the same rudiments or much of the same uh, combinations of hands will still work with the sticks. The possibilities are really great with these cajon sticks. So let's look at some different combinations of either uh, stick and hand or tight stick, loose stick, uh, stick and shaker, those sorts of things.
you want more information on how to play cajon, go to rhythmnotes.net where you'll find an article on cajon drumming. I'll put a link in the description below. So I really like the bass tones that you can get from the dowel groupings being looser and the high tones that you can get from the dowel being tighter. So sometimes I'll have one stick that's looser and one stick that's tighter, but I really like the swishy sound that almost replaces like a shaker or a hi-hat and it really solves that problem of the drum being too dry, which means I can play the cajon with just these sticks or a stick and a hand or a stick and a shaker and it, and it opens up so many more doors and reduces the amount of gear that I really need to take and it can really bring more to a, a smaller setting, a smaller situation where maybe I only have a couple of square feet to sit down and, and you know, just a small piece of real estate on the stage. Sometimes the stage is like next to the front door of a coffee shop, but you still want to bring your best and play the best you can for those songs. So it's very important to reevaluate your gear once in a while to solve these problems because otherwise, if you just do the same thing all the time and expect better results, I mean, it, it's just hard to go down that road. Sometimes it is a gear thing. Sometimes you do need to see what else is out there, what other instrumental uh, changes you can make or implements that you could use. Uh, and in this case, I've changed the implement and I'm very happy with the results. If you like this video and you want to watch more, check out this one suggested to you by YouTube and check out this one suggested to you by Rhythm Notes. Please subscribe so we can help you level up your drumming today and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.